Hello everyone. In the last video, what we did that we placed our own user blog data and show that blog data on our profile page. Now we are able to see our own blogs available on a database on our profile screen. Now we have to use the same blogs.dart file over in a home page to face the other user blogs. And we will gonna do this in this video. And the thing is that here we are using the block card and it's not more ui friendly we will see that how we can modify it but i will not much focus on the ui part here we are just focusing on the functionality part and the ui part you can do your own okay so basically ui you just had to change the card you just have to add some other extra widget that part you can do now we are able to fetch the data now we are able to serve some data over here and the ui you can easily modify okay but in this video let's fetch the other user block and show that block on a home page and the next video will be the last video where we will click on the individual block card and we will show the block data okay so let me go on a home page before i will go on a home page i just wanted to go on the mongodb cluster and i will delete all the blocks available on the mongodb cluster as of now okay so here i have seven blocks available and i want to say sorry to the ola dusu because he also submitted some of the blocks data and i'm going to delete it because he already submitted some kind of images and the images are there in his local system so for my case it will give me an error and i just wanted to delete all the blog and i will start fresh sorry all do so for it and uh, let me just delete the all the blogs i will just delete the blog collection okay how we, you can see that how we can delete something from the mongodb cluster like this and the, now the blocks are deleted let me go here and uh, if i will go on a profile page nothing will come here because blocks is already deleted now i have to go on a home page okay so this is the home screen where we have the home page here we don't have anything here instead of the text widget we have to use the our own custom widget which we created in the last video which is the blogs.dart file and we use the same blogs.dart file in our profile page and we will want to use it for here let me use it and i will use the blogs.dart file and the automatically the blogs.dart file will be imported over there and in the blogs.dart file we have one additional parameter called url in this parameter we have to pass the endpoint and what will be the endpoint of the other user blog let me go on a documentation page here we have the endpoint of the other user blog so this is the endpoint for fetching the other user blog data let me pass this thing over here as a parameter and i will hit the save and what i will do that i will go on a home page and as of now there is nothing because we don't have any block in our databases because we just deleted it and i want to say the sorry again to the ola dusu because i deleted all the blog okay so sorry for that and uh, here we have to do one additional thing that if we don't have any blog then we have to show the user some kind of message that we don't have any blog as of now and how we will do that first I have to go on a blogs.dart file. So here we are showing the columns of blog and how we will showing it. First, we fetch the all the blog data and store the blog data inside the data parameter. And with help of the data parameter, we are showing all the blog. And you know that data is a array. So data have a parameter called length. So let me go there. The logic will be data have the length parameter and uh, because data is array of blogs and it have the length parameter if the data dot length is greater than zero which mean 
the blocks are available in a database and the refetch date. That's why the data dot length is greater than zero. Then we will show the column. Otherwise, we will show our text. So let me just first wrap it inside the center. And inside the center, I will use one text widget. And inside the text widget, I will say that we don't have blog yet. And I will read the save. And I will explain it again that what I did just now. And here you can see that we are just showing a message that we don't have any block yet. And why it's showing right now? Because we fetch the block with help of the endpoint and we store that block in a data parameter. And in the data parameter, if the blocks are not available on a database, it will be like data equal to empty array. So the data dot length will be the zero. So if we face some kind of blog from the database, which means data will consist some kind of array of the objects, which means the data dot length have some kind of value, which is greater than zero. The same principle I use over here. If the data dot length is greater than zero, which means we have some kind of block in a database, we will show the all the blocks with help of the old widget. And if, and if we don't have any blocks, which means the data dot length is zero, we will say the simple text that we don't have any block yet. And if I will go on a profile page, and you will see that the same messages are printed over there. We don't have any block yet because we are using the same blocks dot dot file in a profile page and a home page. Now it's time to test it. So what I will do that I will create a one additional mobile view over here. So let me just create it. So here I mirrored my phone and here I have the emulator. So let's go over here and I will show you that this is my own profile screen. I mean, I created a new account using the Balram 06 and this is the old account using the Dev Stack 06. So both are saying that we don't have any block yet. So let's test it. What I will do that I will create a new blog and the blog will be test Balram testing blocks here and body will be just something to test okay i have to select an image and i will select it from the gallery and i selected some image and i can preview it the only one that i still feel like okay something a meme and i will just add the blog and it will be went on a home page. If I will go on a profile page, then I will got a blog over there. It's not looking great, but we have a blog. The UI part, we will see that what are the improvement we can do. And if I will go on a home page of the DevStack 06, we can see that we have a blog that is posted by the Balram 06. Now, if I would post over here a new blog, Dave stack post it, and I will select an image which is the default image of the emulator, this one, and I will just use the testing one, two, three, four with some value, just random text. And I will again add the blog and, and uh, it went on a home page and if I will click on a profile page then you can see that dev stack is posted or uh, shown over here and now let me test it on a home page of the program 06 a blog is came here which is posted by the dev stack 06 
which means everything is working fine that we can see the other future block on our home page and we can see our own blog on our own profile page so everything is working fine now let me work on the devish tag 06 profile page and we will see that how we can improve this ui and uh, i will make some dummy post but i'm just stopping this video right now so with the help of the other user i made a several blogs and i found out that i'm getting the error over there because of the spacing i mean the, we are using the center over here and blocks are returning the columns instead of the center we have to use the a new widget which is the single child scroll view because we want to make it scrollable and i will hit the save and just wait a minute and now the error is gone and our blocks are here but there is one problem that it's not looking great yeah i know it's not looking great we had to add this, some padding and all those things and let's do that let me add some padding over there and where we will add the padding we have to add the padding on a blocks card first let me go there and in the here we will add some padding like 15 and let me see what are the changes we made then i will go on a blocks dot dart file and here we have to make changes what are the changes we have to make is that let me show you that we need a padding between two blocks and how we will add it first instead of returning a blocks dot dart file i will return a column inside here okay and inside the column we have a children property inside of children the first children will be the the block card and the second children will be the size box so sorry for that uh instead of returning the block card here we are returning a column and inside of column the first children will be the block card and second children will be the size box for adding the padding so let me add the height i will add the height as a 10 and i will hit the save and we added a padding but it's not reflecting because the background is white and this is also white so it's not reflecting very good let me go on a block card and in a block card what i can do that let me go on a top of it and here we are using the stack instead of the stack what if i will wrap it to the card so for the block card i am not made any kind of uh, what uh, any kind of ui that's why it's not looking great but you can see that here you can see the title and for the simplicity purpose what i will do that i will use the text align and inside the text align i will use text align dot center to make it alignment center and the second thing i will increase the height of the position widget so this is and uh, second thing what i will do that i will just increase the size to 18 15 is good so the block card part you can do it by yourself i will increase the height to make it more visible so it's it's now looking like this and now we have to work on an individual block page so and now we are able to fetch the our own blocks and the other user block here you can see that if you made changes on a block card or in blocks.dart file both are reflecting on a profile page and a home page so everything is completed here the one thing is pending here is 
after clicking a blog we had to show the user that what is the body what is the title and who submitted this blog and we will work on that page on the next video but before going that i just wanted to make the correctness i mean i just made in i just got in issue i mean while creating a new profile i get to know that i made an error on a create profile page instead of the capital dob in a create profile page i used the small dob okay so please rectify it and use the capital dob over here because in a back end we specified the capital dob on a mongodb model and here instead of the title line at the time of creating a create profile i used the title so also rectified it and use it as a title line before ending this video what i will do that i will go on a blogs.dart file and here i will make this card clickable and in a blog folder i will make a new file blog instead of the blogs i will use the blog because i want to explore the individual blog and it will be blog.dart file and in a blog.dart file i will first import the material.dart package and i will create a stateless widget because we don't want to set any state on the blog.dart file where we will see the blog body and the blog title and the username or a user who uploaded this blog and the name will be blog let me not return anything right now i will just return a scaffold we will work on this file on next video we'll hit the save i will go on a blogs dot dart file and here in a block card i will wrap it with a new widget which is the inkwell and inside of inkwell we have on tab and inside the on tab what i will gonna do i will use the navigator dot push to go on a new page the context will be the same i will use the material page route because i want to complete this whole series as soon as possible so that's why i am completing this part in this video in the next part we'll work on it and uh, here i will use the blog and i will import the blog and i will go on a last position and i will hit the semicolon and hit the save if i will click on the individual blog nothing is there because it's right now empty we'll work on this page on the next video to explore the individual blog till that thank you all and happy coding see you on the next video and please try to subscribe this channel and also share this channel to your friend and also comment and uh, thank you and let's meet on our last video of this series